guys welcome to another class of pilates or tz today all you need is a rolled up towel or a small pilates ball or you can even take a block we're going to start off just to warm up hips <coughs> coming into your s shape sitting up nice and tall engaging the abs shoulders relax down the spine straighten the one leg you're going to bring the knee up flat keep that foot as flat as you can on the mat squeeze down i feel <coughs> hip flexors and core <coughs> make sure you don't lean back if you need to maybe start off sitting with the towel under your bum if you find you lean back too far you can relax this foot so sitting up nice and tall engage in the abs shoulders relax squeeze one two get that foot flat three pause tight four five six seven eight eight seven sort of nice and tall calls tight feel those abs working a little as well two one one more set one two three we'll stretch after four five six seven eight coming to take that leg out bring it inwards a little and we're going to take that foot up and make sure that you have enough balance so if you're sitting on a little bit of a towel that's fine a little bit of height sit up nice and tall calls tight can have your hands here i just find it easier in this prayer position and squeeze one get that foot flat on the mat two three inhale exhale four where's the harder part going up five is your exhale then six seven eight eight seven six five four three two keep that core tight one one more set one two three inhale exhale four so you will feel the hip flex a little five six seven eight and bring it down bring that first knee in keep the knee on the floor take that leg back the knee back arch the back and lift the foot always feels delicious <coughs> changing sides so coming to the other side so in your s shape then you're going to straighten that front leg sorry first one is this <laughs> so you're in your s shape you straighten that back leg and sit up nice and tall one <coughs> two inhale three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four <coughs> two one one more set one two three four five six seven eight coming to the second side so bringing that leg in, sit up nice and tall. If you need to, you're sitting on the towel to square the hips. And let's go. One. If you can only get halfway, it's okay. Just as long as you feel your abs and you're not leaning back. Four. Five. Six. Eight. One. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Take that knee back, keep the knee on the floor, the foot in the air, arch the back, bring the other leg in, and feel that stretch. So I do find hip flexor, and then maybe a little bit into your <coughs> um, quad as well. Coming to the first side, sitting up nice and tall, coist tight. Again, in the S or the M shape, whatever you want to call it, your hands are here or here. Engage in the core, inhale. Come up. As you come up to the top, squeeze the back, inhale. Exhale, down. Let's go. One. And down. Two. And down. Three. Down, inhale, squeeze, four, five, six, seven, squeeze at the top, inhale, exhale, eight. I find harder to get up, so maybe that's the harder part. If you find it harder going down, then that's where your exhale is. Three, inhale. Inhale, five, inhale, six, squeeze the butt, seven, so you should feel the legs working, little butt, one more set, and then we're going to hold, one, and down, <clears throat> two, keep coming off the mat, inhale, three, down, four, down. Don't forget to squeeze at the top. Five, keep the core engaged always. Protect the back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, one more. Inhale, hold it up. Squeeze the back, shoulders relax. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, changing sides. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall, one, and down, two, release, three, squeeze at the top, four, five, six, Squeeze, inhale, eight, inhale, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze at the top, cause tight, 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 always protecting the back, squeeze, two, Feel that bum burn, the leg burn, inner thigh, I feel one. And it is supposed to be a lot of inner thigh working into the class. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, hold it up here, squeeze, hold, <coughs> seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release it down, coming to stretch, for me a diamond is always a good stretch, <sighs> quite a lot, maybe you can take one foot over, Pull the knee towards you, keep that butt down, so it feels good into that glute, into that burning butt. 
release. Now we take in the rolled up towel or the block or the little Pilates ball. You're going to fold, so I've got a small towel, a bath towel, not a sheet. So in half, in half, and then again in half. And then we're going to roll it up as tight as you can. We're going to place this between the inner thighs, come onto your knees. So if you need protection for the knees. My one client found it better to have the block higher. But if you've got the rolled up towel, I like to feel it here, or the ball, to squeeze it. So we squeeze, sit up nice and tall, core's tight, shoulders relax, hands here, wherever. Squeeze, don't forget to squeeze whatever's between those thighs. And we're going down. Squeeze the butt at the top. Two. Squeeze the butt at the top. Squeeze in the towel all the way down. Squeeze it all the way up. Squeeze. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Squeeze. Five. Inhale. Squeeze at the top. Six. Keep squeezing. So you squeeze down, squeeze up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Squeeze. Exhale, five, course, tight, tight, tight. Four. Three. Inhale. Two, keep squeezing. Mine's shaking a little, my inner thighs. Let's just see. If you can just keep squeezing. Two, that reminds me that I am squeezing them. Three, <coughs> four, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, squeeze. We're going to hold at the bottom and hold at the top. Seven, squeeze, hold it here, squeeze the back. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Squeeze those legs and hold it down. Squeeze, hold. Lift the chest. Squeeze. Three, five. Course tight. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Come. We're going to use the towel for the next, not now, but the following one. So maybe a half, a better kanasana or the foot's closer to the perineum, feet in a straight line, fold forward, tuck your chin in, and coming up, changing legs, I find it feels good, inner thigh, outer thigh of the back of the higher leg, let's see what's working for you, coming to your first side, whatever side that is, you're on your elbow, sit up nice and tall, Shoulder, elbow in a straight line. If you need more support for the elbow, with this one you shouldn't. Flex in the foot to the, the lower leg. Flex it to the ceiling. Sit up nice and tall. Engaging from, so you're straightening all the way from your groin to your heel. But make sure you don't lock the knee. So soften the knee, but squeeze these muscles. Sit up nice and tall. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Maybe my hand here helps me sit up a little taller. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, <coughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it forward a little bit and squeeze. One, sit up nice and tall. Five. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. One more set. Two, three, four. So you should be feeling the inner thigh quite nicely. Bring it all the way up. Sit up nice and tall. One, three, four, five, six. Especially as you're getting tired, don't lose that side. Keep the core tight. Four, five. Keep stretching that leg. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, bring it down, change sides and we'll stretch after this. Second side, sit up nice and tall. That bottom leg, you flex the foot, sit up tall and then engaging from the hip, from the inner thigh to the heel and squeeze one, two, three. seven, eight, feel that inner thigh ready. If you don't feel it enough, maybe take it higher. <coughs> seven, eight, last one. Sit up nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring it forward a little, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight. Smile and breathe when it's burning because if you smile, then you breathe. Seven, eight. Forward and squeeze. One, three, four, seven, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. So that was really a shake a lot. So just fold forward in a diamond shape. It always feels good for inner thigh and outer thigh. But if you're more flexible, probably won't. So then you need to bring those knees in and maybe open and close and then fold forward. Open and close, go a little deeper, but open the front of the chest and round into the back. Coming to the first side. Thank you. So this is where we want to be if you find it too hard to when we lift the hip that it's too much and your shoulders working a lot then and making sure shoulder and elbow in a straight line if you found that too hard then what you want to do is just stay here lift the hip maybe lightly have that hand on the mat if that's doable then come down and rest as well we're going to do three sets here if what we're doing is hard but doable have a rest in between. So we're gonna come up, take that top leg, flex the foot and squeeze. One, two, or you're just going up and down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, course tight, feel that oblique. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, <clears throat> seven, eight, bring it forward a bit and squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, four, if you need to have a break, come down, reset, one, two, or you're just here moving up and down, reset, eight, bring it forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep the core engaged, three, four, six, seven, eight, last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it down, let's change sides and stretch, if you want to stretch, you can stretch now, also you'll find one side's always stronger, but try and do the same on both sides, because you don't want that stronger side to keep getting stronger. Or maybe even do like four more on the weaker side. Even though you're more tired. So either you're here lifting up or you're straight. Squeeze. One, two. Core's tight. Shoulders relax. Five. <coughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Or lightly have your hand here. Seven. Eight. Or you can have your hand here. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Forward, squeeze. One, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Okay, bring it forward and squeeze. Have a break if you need to. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, last set, three, four, five, six. I'm feeling my core and bring it down. Come into your diamond shape or cross-legged for me because I'm less flexible. Cross-legged is amazing. Let's see what's working for you. If you can't sit in cross-legged because of your tight hips or you're too flexible, diamond's better. Opposite hand onto the knee and then feel as if you're between two panes of glass in your upper body and the arm reaches right overhead to feel the stretch and then take it to the angle and fold forward. Oh, change if you're in the unnatural latch. Oh, well, in the cross legged, sorry. Lean over, lean at a bit of an angle, bring the arm forward. No more between two panes of glass and reach it forward. Release. We're going to take the towel to work into inner thigh. So taking the towel now between the thighs. Again, if you've got the block, it's higher if you want. Or just play with it and see. Or the towel is between the thighs, squeezing all the Pilates for whatever you're using. And then squeeze. As you go down, you're going to keep your chest up. Squeeze the glutes and squeeze the inner thighs. As you come up, you squeeze. Squeeze the butt at the top. So squeeze the inner thighs, pull the core and shoulders relax. Squeeze back, try to keep the heel and the knee in a straight line. Not that it's going to hurt your knees, but just for this exercise. Squeeze, push down, squeeze, come up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, squeeze that block. Four. Squeeze, five, squeeze, six, squeeze at the top, squeeze the butt down, squeeze the inner thighs, exhale, eight, exhale, eight, Squeeze those inner thighs, keep squeezing, squeeze at the top. Seven, six, five, lift the chest as much as you can. Also, tight hips or bring it forward. <coughs> Three, two, squeeze, squeeze. One, one more set. Inhale, one. Two, keep squeezing those inner thighs wherever you go. I think the towel's actually better for this. Four, because I was doing it with the lower Pilates ball earlier and I think this is better. Five, inhale, because I seem to be able to squeeze that, keep that contraction all the time with the squeeze. Eight. Sit, hold, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, squeeze the inner thighs. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming up, squeeze at the top. Two, three, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And release. Taking the feet tip at the part. Just fold forward and bounce. Bend the knees, push those toes out and bounce. We are done with the towel. Coming to sit on your butt, we're going to work into the back. I mean into abs. Lying on your back. So it's inhale, you're going to bend the one knee. If you find it clicks into the hip, then you can take that knee up. You're going to inhale, exhale, roll up. Inhale, exhale, down. As you roll up, you round into the back. Let's go. Inhale, squeeze. If you find it too hard or you've got back issues, just hold it here. Just hold and pulse. Make sure you squeeze those abs. Five. Inhale. Round into that back to come up. Sit up tall. And then round down. 
eight. Make sure you're not using your neck. If you're feeling your neck, then you're using too much pulling. Rather use momentum. So you use your arms here to help you up without pulling on the neck. If you're feeling your neck, then just sit back and do it like that. Because then you won't be bringing that neck in. One more set. Inhale. We're going to hold it at the top. Two. Three. Four. <coughs> Five. Six. Inhale. Seven. I think it gives quite a nice massage on that butt, right? On the eighth one, come up onto the sit bones. Lean back, shoulders relax. So if you've been doing this all the time, you can relax or just go a little deeper. Course type. Round into that lower back. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Release it down and stretch it up. Then you're going to take the other knee bend. So, second side. Inhale. Squeeze. Round and down. Two. Inhale. Three, inhale, four, five, eight. Eight more. Eight. No, two more sets. <laughs> Seven. Inhale. Six. Five. Use those abs to pull you up, but you can use momentum as well, as long as you don't feel the shoulders, the neck. Two, inhale, one, one more set, I think, reach forward, round into the back, roll down, round into the back, roll, straighten, round, six, I seem to be moving up. Seven, lucky we nearly finished. Eight, come back onto the sit bones. Maybe hold it here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Release, lying all the way back. Stretch it up. Feel that hyperextension into the back. Oh, delicious. So second set, and last of the abs by the way, straighten that first leg, bend the first knee, this time it's up, you're going to inhale, come up, open up, so it's not about core, because then we'd be leaning back, it's about the shoulder, so if office working, just open that shoulder a little bit, so we lying down, inhale, squeeze, open as far as you can, inhale, so this does work the abs coming up and down, but at the top of the move, I want it to be for that shoulder. Four, five, six, inhale, seven, eight. Eight, <clears throat> seven, inhale, round into the back, round into the back, five, inhale, four, inhale, 
breathe, feel that stretch, delicious. Into the shoulder, two, one, last set, one, inhale, two, three, four, five, we're nearly going to hold it at the top, six, inhale, seven, on the eighth one, hold it, open up and lean back, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release it down, maybe one foot on top of the other, stretch it up, feel the delicious stretch, other foot on top, <laughs> last set, last side, then we're going to work into back, bend in the knee, round into the back, and roll, inhale, come up, open up, one, oh, feels so delicious on the shoulder, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, Three. We've got one more set. One. And one. Two. Three. We're almost there. Luckily, because I'm getting closer to the door and it's not open. Six, inhale, seven, open, on the eighth one, come up, open, lean back, hold it, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release it down, arms above the head, one foot on top of the other, stretch, oh, so delicious, other foot on top, stretch, and coming to lie on your tummy, working into the back now. That first knee is bent, but the upper body is going to lift. So, if you feel pain into the lower back, straighten both legs, hip width apart. The movement what I want with the arms is you're going to have your fingers to your temples and you're going to lift stay lifted and then just go side to side it's not a twist which i often do but today it's not the twist so onto your tummy bend that first knee if at any time you feel your back is hurting then bring it down lift the upper body and side to side one two so i feel it into this oblique and into the back six actually a little into the arms as well eight seven six just going as deep as you can five four three two fingers on the temples by the way one one more set one two three four five six seven eight and hands under the shoulders come into your box shape cat 
and curl just do a few rounds if you need coming back onto that first side so i'm going to show you with this leg so pretending that it's the same side and that leg lifts make sure the knee doesn't bend if you find the knees bending you can take the one hand under to help lift so see where you are relaxing the forehead on the stacked hands or here and squeeze so i feel this into my butt my hamstrings and a bit into lower back and obliques four five six seven eight eight seven <coughs> five four three two one one two we're going to hold it at the top four five six seven hold one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight hands under the shoulders child's pose into box shape just doing some cat and cow and when you're ready to change sides, so if you need a longer break, that's fine. So side, I mean second side, bending the second knee, lift the upper body and side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the upper body lifted. Core tight always to protect the back. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, last set, two, <coughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release it down. Push into your box just to release the top of the shoulders. Coming back, <coughs> relaxing the forehead on the stacked hands or just relax squeeze one two three so keeping that knee <coughs> as straight as you can eight six five four three two one more set and then we're going to hold it four five six seven Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Hands under the shoulders. Push back into child's pose. Oh, delicious. Maybe cat and cow here. Yeah. Or come up into your box shape. Make sure shoulders are slightly over the wrists. The last, last thing we're going to do. So, either you can just hold bridge, or is upper body strengthening I like to do. If you need to, your bum's a bit higher, but make sure you engage in the abs. Otherwise, bring it down, maybe tilt the pelvis, or coming onto your hands, just a little bit of core and a drop of upper body strength. So, I need to be a little bit wider just because of the space so make sure so i just want the angle make sure you're not here your shoulders are slightly over the wrist the core's tight try not to lift too high keep the core tight we're going to bring one leg in so shifting forward let's go alternating one or you're just holding the bridge for the amount of time we're doing this two inhale three I'll be nice on the second set. Four, five, course tight, tight, shift forward. Six, if you need a break, have a break. Seven, <coughs> and don't look right down, look straight ahead and have a break if you need. Or oh, one, two, see, I'm being nice. Three, four, five, six. Inhale, exhale, seven, eight, shift forward. Make sure you're not back. One more set. Two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring it down. Just come stretch. Maybe you need to stretch the arms. And then feet are hip width apart, flex the toes, arms out, shoulders, relax. Always have to come forward and open towards the one side. Push that shoulder back, center, other side, and then just fold forward, tuck your chin in for hamstrings, keep the toes flexed, then open the front of the chest and go deeper. Maybe you're here, maybe you're here, wherever you are. Release. Thank you for joining me in another lesson of Pilates with TZ. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next lesson.